Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Okay, in this one we're going to map these buttons to some buttons on our keyboard. Tractor already has some default mapping out of the gate, out of the box, but we're not going to use it because it's just too com complicated. So we go up here and we go to device and you can see there's some um, keyboards that I've already made. I've done this a bunch of times this morning because it keeps glitching out on me. Let's see if it works this time. Alright, so you can just add a new one just by clicking add and then add generic keyboard. You can also import that later on once you've created this one. So just create it and give it a name. We'll call this one glitch because it's glitching out. This must be the 10th time I've tried this video for years. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna assign these buttons, okay, these keys. So let's go to add in, deck common, and let's go play. Device down here, we want device target, so we want deck A, because we want deck A to be manipulated here. And then we click this button here, learn. So now when I hit a key on my keyboard, Tractor's gonna learn which key it is to represent this. So let's hit S for Sierra. Boom, and it's not working. Oh, sorry, I need to change this to keyboard. Okay, let's try that. Good, now it's working. All right, so this one we want it to toggle. So when we hit it once, ah, oh, sorry, this one, Oh, what's going on here? Play, pause, yeah, deck A. Okay. Why? <laughs> Why is it doing this to me? <laughs> See if this one works. Okay, yeah, that's working. And Okay, that's working. All right, so yeah, you can see here we've got keyboard selected for the when we add an in. So you add an in, go to deck common, select your play, pause, and um, once you've done that, <clears throat> excuse me, select deck A, because that's the device you want to um, target, and then you learn, and hit A. Okay, it's not working there, but hopefully it works. I don't know why it's doing this. <laughs> All right, let's close this and just see if it works. Yes, it's working. And the queue is working as well. All right, I don't know why. It's just tractor being crazy. All right, so for the queue to put those in, it was pretty much the same. We did add in, we went to deck common, and we just queue, which we've done. Oops, I'll, do, I'll just make a new one anyway. Okay, so device target, we want A, and we want it to learn. So I like the S button to be the queue, which there it is. And we want this to be a hold button, so it only works when we're pressing and holding, like so. Release, and it stops, okay? So I'm just gonna delete that because we've already got it. All right, and for the Q, for the uh, deck B, we've made that X. So the same thing, add an in, deck common Q, and I like it to be the letter, the key X on my keyboard. Play and pause, exactly the same, but with play and pause, we want those to be toggle. So we hit it once, and whoops, we hit it once and it presses play, we hit it again and it stops. Cool bananas, all right, let's see if that's worked. It's probably not gonna work. <laughs> oh no, it's working. Hooray. I really don't understand why it's it, it's it's working and why it doesn't some, sometimes. Okay, I'll stop the video there because the next one we're gonna map these um, cue points here, which are really awesome. You see when we press the one, it jumps to it. Um, then we can go over here and we can drop a cue point there and then press and play it. And then if we, I'm pressing and holding on the mouse button, but we're gonna map these to our keys and our keyboards. So I can press it, I can press and hold, and it'll jump to two, press one, boom, does that. All right, let's try that on the next video. Hopefully it works. <laughs>